This is Chippy, UMSupporter.com, in the studio, in the cellar, uh, just having blogged a couple of articles about Chromebooks which launched at Google I.O. today in San Francisco. Um, interesting, we're going to talk about it on the Meet Mobility podcast next time round. Um, but there was one thing that kind of piqued my interest a little bit more than last time uh, because I was very sceptical of the offline capabilities of uh, Chrome OS and uh, Angry Birds was demonstrated on stage and they mentioned that it worked uh, in an offline mode as well. So you can play the full game in offline. Um, now, as I said, we'll talk about it a bit more on the podcast next week. But uh, this video, just a little bit of a demo on uh, Angry Birds HTML5 version. I also have, and let's just uh, turn that volume down, I also have a uh, tablet uh, with me here this evening and I'm going to test it on that in a minute as well. So let's see how this do, does. So everything looks the same. Okay, right, can we go full screen? Get a, okay, it's a windowed windowed game. There you go. And I assume I can just... Okay, the, the frame rate is certainly not as good as... Uh, frame rate is certainly not as good as on an Android tablet, for example. That's uh, way, way lower than you'd get on a... On a um, on an Android tablet. Let's try the SD version. Let's see what happens to this one. Oh, smaller screen. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that's uh, it's a little bit sm smoother. And I've got an HD 1920 by 1080 screen here, so uh, on something like a netbook or a tablet or a Chromebook, which has a 1366 by 768 or a 1200 by 8 by 800 screen or 1280 by 800 screen, uh, that shouldn't look too bad. So what we need to do is test it on netbook style hardware, which is what the Chromebooks are being built on. Okay, we're on a netbook based uh, tablet here. I say netbook, it's running the Intel Atom N450 CPU single core. Uh, Chromebooks have the dual core version, which brings in about 30% more uh, uh, processing uh, performance in general. I don't know whether that uh, HTML5 will, will, or um, Canvas or whatever is being used here is, uh, is going to have more of an advantage, but. Uh, Let's have a look. First thing to note is it doesn't seem to go full screen. Um, let's play it. So I'm not sure whether using a finger as a mouse on this will work. Let's zoom you in a bit on that. And we're using the HD version. Uh, looks like the images or the graphics, the startup graphics, are lagging the music very uh, slow. I don't know whether that's meant to happen or not. Right. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Oh my goodness, that's about I don't know three or four frames a second. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, it's terrible. <laughs> that's the HD version, uh, and that's not even full screen. Interesting, the, uh, of course, the touchscreen works. Let's go for the S SD version, see if that's any better. And then what we'll do is we'll get uh, a netbook with uh, some uh, a GPU in it, a decent GPU in it. Let's see if it's accelerated. So we're on the SD version now. Slightly better frame rate, but uh, they are certainly not smooth at all. Oh, Microsoft Security Essentials. That's what you, you don't want that to remind you uh, when you're playing Angry Birds, right? Well, I have to say that's pretty crap. Let's try a 3D accelerated netbook. 
So one thing that's probably worth mentioning while we uh, boot this up is that um, <coughs> is that the current builds of Google Chrome I don't think are 3D accelerated. So even though we're going to try and run this now on a uh, 3D accelerated um, or some sorry a device with a bit more 3D oomph, and this is a, an AMD C50 netbook with uh, HD graphics. Let's uh, go to Chrome Apps and we'll download. Let's zoom in a bit for you here. Obviously, they're promoting this. Oh, not a touchscreen this version. Let's install that. So, that could be the issue here that actually Chrome builds don't go. Aren't H, sorry, don't use the 3D accelerator. The current Chrome builds, and it could be that on the Chromebooks that they do use the HD accelerator. Uh, there might be new builds of Chrome that actually do have 3D uh, acceleration. I'm going to check that uh, and get back to you in a minute. But let's just test this version of Angry Birds first. first. Let's have some uh, volume. Looks a bit smoother. Uh, probably not perfect though because it's lagging again. And I got this stupid. Uh, why have I got this stupid. Um, uh, I don't want that on the screen. Anyway, we'll get an idea of how quick, how speedy this is. Looks a bit better, feels a bit better. Certainly not smooth, but that's uh, that's way better. And that's probably because the uh, GPU is slightly better on this. Actually, the, the CPU is not as good on this uh, as on the, or is it? It's just I think it's about the same as the N450. This is the C50 AMD. Um, let's check right now to, to check this query about HD acceleration, 3D acceleration. So it's WebGL, which is the uh, the component which will access GPU for acceleration. Um, it seems to be built into current versions of Chrome, so uh, there may be differences, of course, in the latest uh, Cro uh, Chromebooks and the Chrome build, Chrome OS build for that. Um, but what we're seeing right now is really not a satisfa satisfactory application performance on anything but my uh, quad core desktop here. So uh, for the time being, and on the day of the Chromebooks announcement and the announcement of Angry Birds, uh, you know what your best bet is actually is to grab the App Store uh, from Intel, there's a version of Angry Birds in there which is uh, fairly native that works way better than, than this version. So let me give you a quick demo of that. <coughs> Excuse me, so for the, those of you that haven't used AppUp before, uh, just go to appup.com, download the uh, AppUp client there. It's an app store for, for Windows. Uh, there's some good stuff in there actually. Um, I want to have my location set to... Germany, I guess, which is, I think, where my account is. Germany had shortcuts, and that's going to go and install. I'll show you Angry Birds in a second. So, just to show you the App Store, uh, this is the App Store installed. I've logged in under my name. I go to my apps, and uh, Angry Birds is an app I already bought. Yes, uh, I did have to pay for this version, but uh, let's see see what it's like on this uh, device. Right, app up installed. And after this I'm going to try dev build of uh, Chrome. Uh, I think Chrome version 12. So going into the native version here from the App Store. Of course this is um, full screen. Looks better already. Starts up quicker. 
And, oh, it's saved my um, saved my data from the last time I used it on another device, which is quite cool. No, it isn't. It's starting from scratch. You'll notice we've got mouse support and touch support. Uh, let's see how we go. Come on. Okay, maybe I need the mouse in this one. Maybe not. So, way, 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 way smoother. And full screen. It would be interesting to see whether that's taking less uh, CPU power as well. Go on, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Should have gone for the back one first. Okay. So that's Angry Birds native under the App Up Store. Uh, what we need to do now is test a dev build of uh, Chrome OS. Uh, Chrome. Right, so now we're running uh, the HD version of Angry Birds in Chrome 12, so a beta version of uh, Chrome. Let's see, see if this makes any difference. Not really. That's slightly better, I have to admit, than the uh, version we tried earlier. It's the HD version. Let's switch to the SD version. And again, we've got a windowed experience here. It's not really uh, optimal. Yeah, it's um, just as bad and yeah, um, I don't know what to say about that. I guess there's going to be optimizations in uh, Chromebooks, but we'll have to wait and see. This is uh, you know, a beta version of Chrome, which should be very close to the version of Chrome that's running in Cr Chromebooks. It's running on the same hardware, or very similar hardware. There will be some more CPU power in the Chromebooks, the, the dual core instead of a single core Intel Atom. But what we're seeing here right uh, now on uh, Chrome, sorry, let's get rid of uh, app up there, is not uh, that inspiring. Anyway, things will probably change. Uh, this is day one of uh, cr the Chromebook story, I guess, and uh, we'll be following it on UMPC Portal. As soon as I get that Acer Chromebook out, I'm going to buy one. So stay tuned to umpcportal.com where we're going to be doing testing. We'll do a live review session on it as well, so stay tuned. This is Chippy from UMPC Portal. Thanks for watching.